is the buzz in just about every industry. Artificial intelligence, new advancements in AI technology have many people asking what that means for different areas of their lives. But one area you may not thought of is plastic surgery. And right now, here to weigh in is Dr. John Mendelson from the Advanced Cosmetic Surgery and Laser Center. Dr. Mendelson, always great to have you here. Thank you very much. You know, this is funny because we talked about this, that it's just something you don't really think about. So explain to us what role artificial intelligence is playing specifically in your field of plastic surgery and dermatology. Yeah, right, there are a number of things. So if we look at preoperative diagnosis, I know you just showed something on rhinoplasty, but rhinoplasty and breast augmentation are two popular procedures. AI can assist with a patient communication and setting expectations, which are two big problems. By the use of AI, by using AI, they can improve patient satisfaction and reduce the reoperation rate of revision surgery. You talk about dermatology, in terms of diagnosis, there are studies that show that malignant melanoma can be diagnosed more accurately versus benign skin lesions using AI than any level of a dermatology residency program. There's a, something called craniosynostosis. It's where we have a misshapen skull back in the days, Saturday Night Live, yeah, the coneheads. Yeah. That's where our sutures fuse too quickly in our skull, and AI can interpret and diagnose that better than radiologists. Um, so there are, there are a lot of uses, practical uses, for this sort of thing. Burn, patients who have been burned, AI can uh, accurately diagnose those that will recover versus those that will die. Wow. So it sounds like a real game changer for early detection and determining what's going on in someone's mind and in their body. What are some of the benefits of AI when it comes to plastic surgery? Yeah, well, all of these things are related to plastic surgery. I think the biggest thing right now, um, you know, cleft palate surgery can mm -hmm. use robotics and AI as a combined modality for better closure for those cleft palates. I think most of it now is really preoperative planning more than surgical intervention. Although AI can interpret different uh, blood vessels and nerves, so I think there will come a time perhaps that um, you know, that maybe we won't be as necessary as we think we are. It's, it's interesting to hear because I do think that so many of us are, are worried about AI, so it's, it's great to hear the benefits. Are there any shortcomings that you're concerned about in your field? Well, I'm not sure if it's our field in general. I mean, AI is based on a lot of deep learning and a lot of data. So patient rights, uh, how do we protect those? I think the laws need to catch up to how AI ought to be implemented. Um, and certainly, I think humans have more of a subjective approach than an objective approach. And so, uh, at, at least at this time, I think, um, I think we're still needed to make some of those decisions. Oh, that's good to know. What do you think that people should expect for the future of AI in their plastic surgery appointments and other doctor's appointments? Well, I actually think one thing that's interesting is from a consultative standpoint, I do think AI, I think there's a study out there like 92, 93% of the information provided by analysis of your face based on, uh, or your body based on um, algorithms and what you might be interested in, the consultative process might be more computer driven or mm -hmm. more AI driven anyway. So that, uh, so it's sort of like we Google everything now, but there's a lot of misinformation out mm -hmm. there. I think AI can really supplant some of what we're doing, saving time. So that when a patient's in, they can actually see you know, say, hey, this is what I'm wanting my face to look like or my body to look like, you'll right. get a better image of that. Right, sorry, and I, I think that's where the, the nasal, the rhinoplasty and the breast augmentation are so that you can, you can understand what those outcomes would be before undergoing surgery. Right. All right, fascinating stuff here in the world of AI and medical uh, technology. Dr. John Mendelson, thanks so much for being here with us from Advanced Cosmetic Surgery and Dermatology, breaking down this topic for us. All right.